All right, the new cells, the three that I ordered off of eBay just came in. I put a piece of tape on it so I could write down its capacity. It did the discharge cycle already. It's uh, doing the charge cycle. And that 424, 425, that's the milliamp hours. Hopefully it'll get somewhere close to 2000, but we'll see. It's not running very warm, so that's good news. Um, the one thing they did do that dismays me a little bit is they stuck their own decal on top of the numbers that were already there and I that makes me very suspicious because what was on there was already everything we needed to know and they're both done like that so we will find out what we find out and when I get them tested I'll spot weld them back into that guy and we'll see what happens all right, this is the third replacement cell for a damaged pack. It's just about done. Because the range that I uh, tested in, they're showing about, I don't know, 16, 1700 milliamp hours. So, when it's done, I'll write the capacity down on there and go spot weld that one in. That'll be three out of three. All right, the pack's been repaired. Um, this cell's new, this cell's new, and that cell's new. Uh, while not a perfect match for what's in there, they're decently close. So um, I had to break these pieces of plastic out right in here to get the cells out. So I put a little super glue on them to hold them in place for now. Um, that's why they're upside down, so it'll stay together while it cures. And then I'll put them in here. And you can see it's kind of crusty looking, but man, I soaked it in water for days, I've scrubbed it, I've done everything, That's and I've even used alcohol and q-tips. That stuff just does not want to come off, but that's how it goes. So I scrubbed the cells and the inside of the um, plastic holders here with q-tips and alcohol so that it wouldn't cause any kind of a short or anything. So um, they're doing pretty good, so what I'm going to do now is uh, just run it through the power tool for a little bit and then plug it into the charger and that seems to um, equalize them real well. They're all within probably 40 millivolts. It's, it's not very far apart but after it's been run through the charger a couple times it puts them within like 3 millivolts. It's pretty neat. Um, at least the last pack that I checked did that. And that'll be it. Um, everything else here is gonna need cells. I don't have cash for cells right now so um, I'll just put them in a box and, you know, when the money comes, I'll uh, take care of them. But this will give me uh, three cells, or I'm sorry, three packs. Uh, an 1800, which should be higher, but it's useful. I used it yesterday in my uh, air compressor to pump up my tires in my car, and that worked really good. Then there's this one that's supposed to be around 4,000 or 4 amp hours. And... Um, what was the other one? 1800, 4000. Hmm. No, I have forgotten. Well, they're in the car. Anyway, there'll be three lithium packs now. And um, we'll see how they, how they survive. Uh, the whole point is don't leave them in the frickin' rain. Anyway, um, I do believe this will be the last video in this Power Tool series, at least for the near future. Thanks. See you. Bye.